You're watching Theme Park Worldwide where we're here at the Drayton Manor Resort for the start of the 2023 season. So we're staying over tonight and we're in a Viking themed room. At the Drayton Manor Hotel and you can see it there just behind us. The hotel actually opened back in 2011. There's 150 rooms and last year they opened a variety of different Vikings rooms to add to the overall portfolio of accommodation they've got including Thomas and Friends themed rooms and of course the standard rooms that they've got here as well. And yeah the hotel really is fantastic at Drayton Manor. I only stayed once and that was many years ago when it first opened so I'm really excited to stay here tonight. I've never stayed before so I'm really looking forward to see what we've got in store. We just want to say a huge thank you to thank Drayton you so Manor much. for inviting us to come and stay tonight, show you the accommodation and like Charlotte said we're in a Vikings oh, themed so room. Excited. The theming in these are absolutely brilliant. Last year I came down when they were building these and of course was doing the construction updates with the park for the Vikings themed area and I was really impressed with the rooms and I really wanted to come and stay so I'm really excited for this I'm tonight. Really to see what the room looks like. Of course tomorrow we're going to be on the park for the first day of the main 2023 season and we've got lots to talk about including a new ride that's going to be coming this year and also a new roller coaster Ooh. opening next year in 2024. Exciting times at Drayton Manor but let's go and step inside the hotel and go and have a bit of a tour around. And here's a look at the entrance to the hotel. And yeah, it's literally just a stone's throw away from the theme park. In fact, here at the hotel, you've got your own entrance, which is just a short walk on the right hand side. There's a pathway down there. It takes about two, three minutes to walk over there to the park, um, which is fantastic. Loads of parking here as well. And if you are staying as a resort guest, you do get parking included at the hotel as well. But yeah, it was a huge investment for them back in 2011 when this place opened. I remember seeing it getting built and um, seeing all the turrets go up and yeah it really is a fantastic building and you've got all the flags out at the moment and we'll talk more about this tomorrow but thomas land is turning 15 years old i can't believe it's been 15 years i remember when it opens like it's i'm walking nice into there they're doing like a celebration for it which is really nice to see yeah definitely we're going to see a lot more of that on the park itself tomorrow it's kind of the first event of the year and um, so we'll check that out but here we go as we make our way inside all the lovely decorations just here for the 15th birthday of Thomas Land. There we go, make our way in. Very nice in here, you've got the hotel shop on the left and yeah, I really like how you're greeted by the carousel just here and you can press the button and there we go. With the music as well. How awesome is that? <laughs> the Drayton Manor carousel. And there's Thomas making his way around there as well and Percy on the other side just there. Yeah, I love that, that's really cool. It's a really nice feature when you come into the hotel just here with the carousel and all the music comes to all the speakers in here which is very cool. And there's some great photo ops over here as well which is really nice to see. A great Thomas background just over here as well. All the different engines. Can you name them all Charlotte? I yeah. Know, <laughs> oh, Thomas just over there. And of course we've got the 2023 park map just over here as well. And the reason I wanted to come and show you this was mainly for this just up here under construction opening 2024 so obviously this is the whole top part of the park they've demolished of course the sad news of apocalypse coming out um, but something is going to be coming in so apocalypse was demolished along with that and um, right next door you have pandemonium that came out the year before and um, there used to actually be a ferris wheel there there was mexican hats back in the day and oh, um, up on the top you had the cedar fish and chips which was here all of that's being cleared and we'll have a look inside the park tomorrow but i do like how they've got a big printed out map just here and of course thomas land down here as well ready for its 15th but yeah we're all checked in so we're going to go and show you our accommodation now in a vikings themed room <laughs> i like how they got all the decorations up just in here obviously the reception area is just on the right yeah like this is kind of like the grand atrium obviously this would be nicer on a sunny day and the sun's actually shining down but yeah you get a look at the outside dining area patio there's a play area down there as well which is really nice. Oh, the door's open. There we go. <laughs> it's not raining, we're all right. Yeah, you've got this lovely patio area around here. Our room actually looks straight out onto this as well. But yeah, obviously perfect place to come and chill out after a busy day on the park. Like I say, mainly in the summer, but yeah, you've got the play area down there. You can also see the caravan park they've got just down there as well, part of the caravan and camping club. And yeah, you've got all the nice seating and the lovely landscaping as well. Like the building is really nice. It's I very looked it's after. It's a very nice building. I do like the look of it from the outside. It's very nice. It's not particularly themed from the outside, but it's modern, you yeah, know. It is, which is good. I yeah, like it. Definitely. Yeah. And you've got all the glass kind of atrium through here. So we make our way back in. And yeah, we're going to go and show you our room now. Make our way back inside. 
And there's a look up to the top. You've got a big fancy light. You can't really see it at the moment because of all the flags, but there's like this nice feature coming down from the top. And the artwork, it kind of looks a bit like a roller coaster track on the side. I don't know if that was the inspiration or not, but it kind of reminds me of a helix on a coaster going round. And another photo opportunity just down the bottom over there as well. Yeah, we'll head down the corridor. Pringle machines just down here. <laughs> nice little sweet and shrimp. Yeah, and obviously you've got the shop there as well. It's only open at certain times. You've got the restaurants. We've got breakfast tomorrow, so we're going to show you that. Oh, I love a breakfast. But yeah, they've got a couple of different restaurants here. I love, love these benches just here. Kind of looks like you're on a train station. And this way to the Thomas and Friends themed bedrooms and Vikings down here as well. Into the corridor. Now, of course, there's a lot of history with Drayton Manor. In fact, it's one of the oldest parks in the UK. And yeah, in the corridors, you've got a lot of old images. We'll have to see if we can walk upstairs at some point and show you some of the others. But yeah, look at this, Drayton Manor during the early 60s. Some recognizable places though, of course, with the lake just there, and the old boats, the play equipment on the side. Uh, look at that, like amazing. Obviously you recognize the cable car probably, that's now left the park, but yeah, so much history with Drayton Manor. You can see the old jungle cruise ride just over there from 1975 and obviously that later became Excalibur on that lake and unfortunately there's now nothing on there but hopefully at some point in the future there will be. I mean um, Looping Group that own the park now and um, they've got some big plans which is exciting. Very exciting. Yeah some old pictures here, Brian's also works just here as well at the factory. Yeah so much history and of course the park started by the Brian's family and yeah unfortunately they don't actually own the park anymore however the looping group are giving it a new lease of life which is great to see and yeah of course the old chairlift there cable car from 1964 miss great britain publicizing the opening just there as well and now as you make your way down you've got all the standard rooms very modern in here kind of feels a little bit like a premier inn i yeah, think with all the so. down here you know which is quite nice but obviously with the history as well see you at drayton manor park Faisley, tamworth 160 acres of parkland and lakes and here we are, down to our room, number 15. Viking. Hey, we've got the Viking on the front. Right, let's go and make our way inside and we'll take a look round. Well, here we are then inside our room and look what we've got on our heads. Viking hats look just here. Look how cute these are. Yeah, so when you actually check in, they give you these if you're staying in one of the Vikings themed rooms, which I think is a really nice touch. Like, it makes the kids day and it's made our day, to be I'm honest. Sorry, I love this so much. We love staying in <laughs> themed rooms and what they've done here at Drayton Manor is fantastic. I'm really hoping that as they continue to improve the rest of the park and do more themed areas, which seems to be the way they're going down, we'll have more themed rooms at the hotel. Like I say, they opened these last year year uh, but along with that you've got the Thomas rooms in fact you can see the corridor down at the end so we'll show you that with all the themed carpet um, but yeah that's really nice how they're starting to do that uh, I'd like to see maybe an adventure cove kind of beach side theme it's one room of them where people really like like the themed experience so to make more of that would be fantastic yeah they've got this hotel here there's 150 bedrooms and obviously part of the hotel um, is themed and obviously part of it isn't so it's really nice to see them go yes. more down that route I think there's always a place for standard rooms because not everybody wants a themed no, experience not everybody, but a lot of people now they do like that themed experience and you got to think we're at drayton manor you know we're at a theme park um why not theme it on the rise exactly. of attractions but i think a few adventure cove yeah, themed rooms would be, quite would, nice. would be great like with all blue and waves maybe like seagulls on the sea area oh, about that'd that be good, that'd be really it? cool but uh, we'll spin you around and we'll show you the theming because what they've done in here is fantastic and it's really good quality stuff as well well, we'll start off the tour right here where we've just done this little clip. And yeah, talking about the quality of it all, look at this. Like, it's all actual wooden yeah. features that they've look got on that. here. It's fantastic. Like, it's great. I like how it's not just a vinyl print because it could have been, you know, it could have been done cheaply and just a vinyl. But no, they've actually um, really thought about this, which, which is, is great. It's really good to see, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I don't mind a few vinyls when they're used correctly. Um, but the fact that most of this room is actually wooden which features. Is really good to see. And then you come around the corner just here and look at this. It's absolutely fantastic. Fantastic. It's kind of like you're on a Viking longboat just here as well. I love it with the shields, the theme lighting, so much going on right here to look at. But yeah, you start with the bed itself. Obviously, you've got the shield at the back with the really nice lights. Kind of look a bit like antlers, don't they, on there? And yeah, the shields at the side. Again, all this is real props. We're not talking just vinyl stickers. You know, all this is real, all nicely painted. And then the big sails to kind of make you feel like you're on a ship. Up there it as just well. Comes across really premium, which is really nice to see. Instead, of, like instead of the vinyls, it is nice to see like the set pieces, which is nice. Yeah, it's proper good quality stuff. Same with the bedding, just here. This a nice little throw going on just here as well. Kind of like them big Viking um, jackets, you know. Yeah, they have the 
wrap around them, don't they? I think what would make this even better would be a couple of themed pillows on there maybe yeah, as maybe well. Like just one circle cushion maybe in the middle. Yeah, just to, to add to it, maybe a, a big shield or something like yeah, that, which would so. be nice. Um, but still, what they've got is great. They haven't just put normal tables at the side of the beds, and they've actually oh, got the wow. barrels just there as well. And uh, yeah, straight away, plug sockets by the bed on both sides. That's a big plus for us. Obviously, we use a lot of plugs with what we do. And um, you've got some great pictures just here as well, which is fantastic to see, of course. Really do like that. And yeah, all the details around here are brilliant. Like, look at this, like all actual wood. What they've used, again, not a vinyl in sight round here, which is fantastic to see. I love how you got the wooden effects. I'll show you the blinds. Yeah, this is really cool. There you go. That's good, isn't Vikings it? Vikings blinds just there. Instead of just a standard set of curtains. It's just added curtains. touches, isn't it, which really makes it. Yeah, definitely. Very impressed with that. And here's our view. Obviously, we were standing out there just well, there's a look at the grounds. And yeah, you don't realize actually when you're out the front of the hotel, how many grounds they've actually got out the back here. Obviously not the best in this weather, um, but still on a lovely summer's evening after the park, you can go and grab a beer from the bar, head down in there. Of course, you've got the play park down there for the kids, all big kids. And then these like little horses, what they've made they here as well. Like horses. Like, out, of, uh, out of logs. But yeah, it's very nice down here. I do really like the hotel. You've got a big clock just up there as well. I think that needs changing actually. I think it's an hour out. It is, yeah. I was thinking, is it five to five to five? It's five to six. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I do like your uh, your hat that you've got Honestly, on there, though, Charlotte. It's so nice, isn't it? I might sleep in it tonight. <laughs> with it on. Fantastic. Along with that, you've got some more pictures just over here as well. And yeah, you've got all these details that continue around on this side. There's the big beam at the top. So much going on in here. It's crazy, but I love it. Obviously, the lamp is all That's kind nice. of matches the bedside lamps there as well, which is good to see. You get some Fiero Rochers. Oh, look at them just like there. Luxury, isn't it? Yeah, what else we got on here Bugs then? Bugs are really nice. I like those. Yeah, it's nice how they've got them. You get your bottles of water, you got your tea and coffee in here. Oaty biscuits Yeah, there. you get ginger biscuits, which is really good. Yeah, look at the mirror just there as well. Mm. Even that's theme around the side. Obviously QR code, so you can scan for bar and room service as well. And then they'll bring stuff to your room. Lots of storage down here. I mean, this is like yeah, one massive uh, like dresser all the way across here. So you get your hair dryer in there, which is good. Then you've got another drawer, which is quite deep. And, and the then button. you've got a fridge. Just over there as well. I can open it. Oh, is it a fridge? Oh, yes, there we go. It is. I don't know if it was a safe there. Yeah, it's a fridge. There you go. Fridge. We don't rehearse these rooms, so we'll just go with it and see how it uh, see how it turns out. Kettle down there as well. Obviously, it would be nice if that could have been themed in instead of just white, but that's just me being that's a bit picky. <laughs> you know, I'll, you know, we're going by the colours and stuff. Maybe a brown kettle would have I fit don't better. Know, maybe if they do a Viking themed kettle. I mean, you know, you can just stick a sticker on it or something, yeah. but yeah, then it's kind of like cheating in the look. This looks nice round here yeah. as well. Again, maybe a bit more theming would have been good on the top, but you've got the lighting up there as well, which makes up for it as well, which is good. Got our media passes there as well, and some pin badges which just gave us. Obviously, uh, these are just for the event, but we're going to be making our way onto the park tomorrow. And of course, you can buy the pin badges available at the park. There's a couple of little stools down there as well. And obviously, you've got the main TV. Well, the good thing is with these family rooms, there's no fighting over the TV, is there? I it? think this is a fantastic idea. I've never seen this in a hotel before. It's yeah. even got like, I think it's got a DVD player yeah, in, in the side. Like, so both of the kids' beds over here. That's great. I've got their own TVs. Like, that's fantastic. I'm not too sure how that works sound wise because you'd have a lot of sound going on. But it's, but like there's no it's great. There's no arguments about what to watch on the TV. You can just sit down there and sit up there. Probably you could probably bring some headphones and maybe plug them in if there's yeah. a, an audio jack on there as well. Yeah. But look at the bunk bed, like all these details, Lord like Lord. amazing. Like I just love what they've done with these rooms. They are fantastic. Some of the best themed rooms that I've, I've seen and stayed in, to be honest. You got a bit of storage under the bed there if you want to slide your cases under, uh, that sort of thing. Obviously you got this, what we just put our coats on for now. Um, obviously some of the rooms are connecting as well. So obviously this goes through into the next one. Um, if you're a bigger party and want to book multiple rooms, and just over here, you've got the big mirror and, of course, more theming on the back of the doors just there as well. And I've still got my hat on, which is fantastic. <laughs> I'm in bed today. <laughs> I'd love breakfast in bed today. Oh, there you go. So they bring you oh, breakfast in cool. bed. Yeah, How good. about that? If it wasn't going to show you the restaurant tomorrow morning, I might have done that. But uh, <laughs> look at really We're all good, pe it? peeped out. There you go. <laughs> yeah, I've got a wardrobe in that has also got a safe and stuff in there as well. It's got all that. Clothes. Nice knocker on there as well. As we but can you see. do have a safe and hangers and stuff in there as well. Wardrobe isn't massive, but you still have quite a lot of room at the top. You got your drawers and yeah, stuff and you got to think most people are going to be here for a one night stay, aren't they? You're not going to need loads of stuff unless you're Charlotte and you just bring your suitcase anyway. Well, I had a few bits that I needed to bring, and it's just easier, isn't it? It, all <laughs> it is right into the bathroom then now. 
So yeah, let's start off in here. Obviously, it's quite hot when it comes to theming a bathroom, isn't it? Especially, you know, because it's got to be, and it's got to be clean, things can get wet. So we have got vinyls in here, like on the mirrors. However, it does match the wooden effect inside. Really yeah, this is great, because obviously this is fantastic on the back. I wouldn't really say it's a, a vinyl, it's like a print on, and then they've like covered it over in plastic. Um, but that's really good to see. Again, with the bathroom, especially in themed rooms in general, a lot of the time, you don't really get much theming. Whereas with this one, they've done yes. really well. Same down here at the bottom as well, which is good. Loads of towels. Yeah, loads and loads of them just up there, which is fantastic. Um, what we got there as well, Scottish fine soaps. And just there, home and body shampoo. shampoo. Yeah, so you got one of them, which is quite large as well. Bath is a good size there as well, which is fantastic. It looks like I want at home, actually. It looks quite long uh, with the built-in shower just there as well, which is great. And yeah, like I said, with the mirror, there's not a lot you can really do in a bathroom with theming. So uh, I can kind of, I don't mind the odd bit of vinyl, but when you stay in a theme room, you don't just want vinyls no, everywhere. Um, something that springs to mind. I mean, I've not stayed there, but I've seen it when I worked there. It was the CBeebies Land Hotel at Alton Towers. Lot lots of vinyl everywhere, you know, whereas they, I think this is really nice how there's lots going on. Um, with all the details. But uh, yeah, you've actually got the sink, which is in the corner. Another one of them Scottish soaps just over there as well. Plug there for any shavers, that sort of thing. And of course the toilet just down there as well. Yeah, toilet roll. I think this is quite a nice setup it actually, is. having this in the corner. You don't normally get that, do you? You know, over in the corner so like this. That's extra space, haven't you? Yeah, definitely. Nice. Yeah, fantastic. Uh, more towels, a bin down there, and a nice heated towel rail, which is perfect for a soaking on Storm Force 10. Oh, no. <laughs> so if you're staying over, you're soaked, get your clothes on there. And they'll dry mm, out. Definitely. <laughs> but yeah, very nice. I, I really like the rooms. Obviously, the other rooms that they've got here, you know, I would compare them um, to a Premier Inn. I mean, I really like Premier Inns, and the other rooms are similar to that in that extent, that um, you wouldn't really tell you're at Drayton Manor in them rooms, um, other than looking out the window and seeing the view. With this, it's themed, you know that you're at a theme park hotel. I you know? really like it, I think they've done a fantastic job. Yeah, it. definitely, and I really hope they continue to do this. I'm sure they will do. I mean, the Looping Group, in what, three years they've had this park for now, in that period of time already, they've invested a lot in. We've seen some things taken out, and it's gonna take time to build up the full park offering again, but still, what they've done is absolutely fantastic, um, with the new additions such as Vikings. We know there's a new ride for Thomasland this year. And of course, next year, a new coaster. Constant investment. And it seems like they really want to think about quality. And what they've done here is great. Obviously, Looping Group also own West Midland Safari Park. And we've not stayed in them, but they've got the Safari Lodges that look they amazing. Look so good and I think they keep sort of expanding on those as well because they're so popular. Yeah and they look to the level of this with the they theme and quality. absolutely fantastic, they look massive, they've got like kitchens and stuff in them which is lovely. Yeah and it kind of shows that that's the level that Looping Group are trying to do with their rooms. Obviously um, they're not a, a British company, you know, they are from mainland Europe where we've always said um, some of the best theme parks in the world are. So it seems like they've really got that influence. Uh, five years from now I can see Drayton Manor looking very different. I'm looking forward to getting on the park tomorrow. I'll be sad not riding a park but I think the fact it's come out, we're not going to look at an SBNO ride. It would be worse if we was going into the park tomorrow and having to just see it like sat there, whereas now it's completely gone, it's much better. Yeah, definitely. You know, it's, still it's, sad. it's, it's very sad, but at least we're not looking at it like exactly. the Slammer at Thorpe Park, for example. We still look at it and have their memories. With this, yeah, we know that next year there's going to be a new coaster on that yeah, site, you know, exactly. which is fantastic. It's not just been took out for nothing, you know. But uh, anyway, that's our Vikings theme room. We absolutely love it here. Uh, obviously, you've got the Wi Fi free parking, um, very close to the park, and beautiful views looking out at the landscape. It's a really nice hotel. I think it's an underrated hotel actually so as well. Too. I think these rooms are absolutely fantastic, yeah. really clean, really spacious, I really enjoyed it. Because they didn't have much theming um, before, I think that's probably why people overlooked staying here, whereas yeah, now it's, so. you know, it felt more like a conference centre style thing, whereas now they're going down this theme route. Like you said, in the future it'd be nice to see them expand on the um, theming and stuff in different rooms and maybe advance that. Yeah, definitely, and even some of the public spaces maybe even the facade they could look at painting up to be a bit so, more yeah. you know I'm not saying the corporate style is that what they've gone for yeah Onto the yeah, I nice. think so. Yeah, definitely to make it set it apart. But yeah. uh, absolutely fantastic. Really impressed with it. Can't wait to sleep in here tonight. 
Well, there we go. That's a tour around the Viking themed room here at the Drayton Manor Hotel. And yeah, we've still got our hats on here These as well. Are so nice. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, anyway, we'll see you all tomorrow morning. Well, we'll take you for breakfast. And also, we'll take you for a bit of a tour around other parts of the hotel. You've got the bar area and the main restaurants down there as well. So we'll show you all of that tomorrow. Because tonight, we're going to party into the new season. Um, just to, for the start of the season tonight, they're holding an event called Party Bingo. Uh, so we're going to be checking that out tonight. Uh, having a bit of fun. Lots of other people here to come and see that as well which is great uh, and then of course we'll see you in the morning where we'll continue our tour and then the next vlog coming up tomorrow will be from the park itself uh, 15 years of thomas land new coaster ground clearance taking place and of course all of the latest updates as well so lots going on at drayton manor and we'll show you them tomorrow but uh, yeah we're going to party the night away at drayton Woo! manor and uh, just want to say again thank you so thank much them for inviting us down we really do appreciate it uh, to come and stay in one of these rooms uh, like look at this visual behind with the hats on so the theme in. it's great it's really immersive and that's what I like. But uh, we'll see you tomorrow and uh, yeah, we'll take you down for breakfast in the morning. Good morning from the Drayton Manor Hotel. Hello. It's the next day and we're going on the park today. Oh, I'm excited to get back on park. Oh, it's going to be great. First day of the main season. I'm looking forward to that it. That vlog's going to be coming up for you all tomorrow. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to uh, be going for breakfast shortly. Oh, I'm so hungry, so I'm looking forward to this. Oh, I think I'm full English. So I thought we'd take you for a little look around the rest of the hotel. Yeah, look at this carpet. Hey, so these are the Thomas themed rooms down here and I love how they do all those, like, it's fantastic. You've got all the brickwork on there as well. And of course, Thomas and Friends on there as well. But we had a really good time last night at the party oh, bingo, didn't we? it was really good. I really enjoyed it. Yeah, they're going to be doing more of that style of event in the future yeah, as well. Yeah, so check so. out on the website for future days, but we really enjoyed it. It was really good fun. Yeah, if bingo's your cup of tea, then uh, of course, they've got another one coming up actually later on this month as well. But uh, yeah, they're going to be doing a lot more different events at Drayton Manor throughout the year. And uh, yeah, we're looking forward to uh, coming to see those throughout the year. But yeah, just thought I'd show you some more with the nice pictures that they've got here as well. There you go, the log flume. Opened back in 1981. And I've seen here in 1987. And of course that was took down and replaced by Stormforce 10. And we've got Charlotte's first looping coaster in the background yeah, there as well. first ever looping one. Right, there we go, the old Klondike. I hated it. <laughs> <laughs> Now, of course, yesterday we showed you downstairs in the reception area. And yeah, we've just come up to the top floor here now to show you the view in this grand atrium just here. I do really like it with all the glass panels. And obviously on a nice sunny day, sun shines right into here as well. And yeah, looking down there, you've got some more Thomas theme in. That's nice, isn't it? Over here as well, which is good. Yeah, quite a lot of different photo opportunities throughout the hotel. And yeah, you've actually got some of the suites um, up here as well, of course, on the front of the hotel, <laughs> where you've got like the balconies looking out over towards the park as well and some more old photographs of the park just up here as well. A day out at Drayton Manor back in 1950. All you can really see there is the lake in the middle and then yeah, all the parking around here at the side. Changed so much over the years, hasn't it? I love seeing all the history for the park here throughout the hotel. And you've got this advertisement here from 1967, advertising a new zoo at Drayton Manor Park Inland Pleasure Resort. Oh, I love it. And here you can see the new attractions all for that year there as well. Well, back in our room then for one final time, just to appreciate the awesome theming in here. And yeah, I've really enjoyed staying here at the Drayton Manor Hotel, a themed experience like this. The room's absolutely fantastic, really like I it. I think it just really makes it being immersed in this like themed environment. I've really enjoyed it. Yeah, and it fits in great with the park. Gonna be stepping back in the Vikings themed area today. And of course, getting on lots of our favorite rides and attractions at Drayton Manor. Um, yeah, we've got breakfast first, full English, I believe. I'm have full English, I'm so hungry. Oh yeah, so we're gonna make our way now down to the restaurant. And here we are then down in the restaurant. And there's your breakfast. breakfast. This morning. Yeah, it's buffet service. You go up, help yourself, and I'll go and show you what options there is up there now. Beautiful. Oh yes, looks good. So just come and help yourself up here, have as much as you want. There's a little look at all the breakfast. Got your bacon, eggs, sausages. Absolutely delicious. Nice fruit selection just over here as well, which is always good to see. And of course, all your toast just over here as well. Wholemeal bread and white bread just there. And over here you've got a nice selection of cereal, bananas, some more fruit down here, and also some mini muffins just there. Oh, beautiful. Well, you've also got the bar area just in here as well, which is of course open on an evening. And worth pointing out, of course, the restaurant's open for dinner at night as well. My breakfast was so nice, I really enjoyed it. It was really good. It's not a nice choice, which was great. I'm not normally a massive breakfast person, but I really enjoyed nice that. It was great. Oh, it was fantastic that was, but yeah, it's really nice here. Inside the breakfast area. 
And yeah, obviously you got all the decorations up as well at the moment, celebrating Thomas Land's 15th birthday just here as well. Yeah, really nice. All the deco in here, very modern feel. You got all the extra seating down there. You got like these little booths in here as well. That was great. Really enjoyed that. There is a cash machine in the hotel if you need it as well. It is £1.50 for cash withdrawals. And right next door, you've got the little arcade just here as well. But yeah, they do have a bit of children's entertainment on in the evening, I believe, in the bar there as well. And yeah, obviously the bar area, all modern, very spacious, lots of seating in there as well. And yeah, you've got the outdoor terrace, which is perfect for in the summer. Really looking forward to getting on the park. I'm really excited to take a look at the groundwork taking place for the new 2024 roller coaster. And of course, that's going to be coming up for you all in tomorrow as well. And the shop's open this morning here in the hotel as well. So we thought we'd just have a little look inside. And yeah, obviously we're in a Vikings room. And yeah, you can get some more Vikings items just here. You get the shields, $18.99. You got the t-shirts just there as well. The adult ones are $16.99. And the child t-shirts, $4.99. You get the mugs just there as well that, you've, of course, you've got in the rooms. And the little hats that you get when you check in <laughs> to one of the Viking rooms as well. I really like that little exclusive, which is fantastic. All your Thomas merch in here as well. Having a good look around Thomas Land in the park vlog. All your pin badges just up there, cushions. And over here, nice selection with Drayton Manor hoodies just here as well. Still with the old kind of branding on with Drayton Manor Park and you can see the old logo there. Taking a while to get used to the new logo, but I think now it's changed mostly around the park. Obviously they're phasing it out of the merchandise and kind of got rid of the Drayton Manor Park into Drayton Manor Resort. Back outside then now after a wonderful stay at the Drayton Manor Hotel and really enjoyed it. Of course all the rooms here are really nice and fit the modern feel of the hotel. But then you've got the two different types of themed rooms, the Thomas rooms and also Vikings that we stayed in and we loved those didn't oh, we? It was absolutely fantastic, I really enjoyed it. Yeah the theming in there is good, lots to look out, loads of great photo opportunities and the fact as soon as you check in you get the hats is a really nice touch oh, as well. I'm wearing them around the house. <laughs> <laughs> and in terms of the actual rooms themselves, um, not loads of vinyl stickers everywhere you've got actual wooden features and lots to see in the room like all the lamps are all themed in um, all the bed covers I think the rooms are fantastic I had a really good night's sleep there uh, very quiet peaceful hotel because obviously you look out the back you've got all the parklands around um so yeah it's really nice i very much enjoyed staying just want to say thanks to drayton Thank manor so for inviting us down and hopefully showing you guys what the hotel is really like here because you yeah it, you know it's somewhere that a lot of people um, don't really realize that they've now got the themed rooms in there and hopefully that's something that they're going to expand on in the future i'm sure they will do with new additions coming to the park um as they put new things in uh, hopefully they'll do more themed rooms because the vikings area are uh, fantastic and really high quality yeah I'd like to see some more themed rooms. Yeah, breakfast was fantastic we as well. Breakfast. Lots of variety and lots of selection. Obviously, you've got the full service bar in there. Mm. They do evening dinner in there as well. And uh, yeah, along with that, it's a great hotel. I think in terms of adding some more theming, maybe around some of the public areas would be great. And maybe the facade out the front, it would be good if they could add a little bit more theming to the exterior. Or maybe paint it a different colour, maybe. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. Obviously, you know, when it got built, I mean, it always felt kind of very corporate style with the look of it. Uh, and obviously, we're at a theme park, aren't we? You know, they want to make it more themed. And obviously, I think that's that's what they're trying to do now with the different themed rooms and hopefully that what they're going to do to maybe the exterior at some point as well. But it is a very well. nice exterior, I do like it. Is, it is, yeah, it's modern, it's fresh, it fits in really nice here. Uh, but I think, you know, it'd draw even more people in if it had some more theming out I there agree, on the front. Yeah. You know, all the turrets and everything look great, but there's some more something. decor on the front which would be fantastic in the long term. But uh, it's been a great stay. We're heading on to the park now for the Yay! first day of the season. Looking forward to getting back on all of our favourite rides and of course bringing you the latest updates as well. We spoke about it a lot already, but there is a new coaster coming next year Year. We're going to have a first look today at where that is going to be built. Um, we're also celebrating Thomas Land's 15th birthday. There's a new ride coming to Thomas Land, and uh, yeah, we'll bring you all those updates, updates as well. Lots coming up. That leaves us with one final thing to say get out there and, and keep, keep on, on riding. riding. We'll see you in tomorrow's vlog.